Hi guys, so today I'll be talking about the scope of emergency medicine. After you complete your MD or DNB degree, what you can do is you can join as, as a senior resident in some of the government institutes or in private medical colleges. The monetary aspect if you talk about in the government institutes, if you join such as in AIMS or in some state medical college, you will get anywhere between 1 to 1.5 or 1.6 lakhs. And if you say if you join in a private medical college, you can get up to 2 to 2.5 lakhs per month. Talking about the options of DM, there are plenty of options of DM in India right now. Some of them after after emergency medicine for us would be DM critical care, which you can join through NEET SS exams in, a, in some of the state medical colleges. You can also join DM pediatric emergency medicine, which is being offered by some of the peripheral aims. Also, you can join DM toxicology, which is also being offered by some of the peripheral aims. If you wish to join shorter courses, which are fellowships, with that also you can join, which have been offered by some of the peripheral names such as AIMS Raipur, AIMS Rishikesh, uh, fellowships such as EM Critical Care, fellowships in EM Toxicology, fellowships in EM Cardiology. All these are fellowships last for one year. I know some of the emergency physicians who have also opened their private setups, their own private emergency departments. But for these, you need to have a huge, uh, huge amount of investment to be present with you such as around 40 to 50 lakhs initially also you need to tie up with some of the more with some of the specialist doctors like a cardiologist a neurologist or even a tie up with some of the hospitals for, by which you can stabilize the patient first and send these patients to a tertiary care hospital and finally if you wish to go outside of india you can give plenty of exams some of the most common exams which we give are the mr chem exams which is the membership of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine exams. Completion of your MRCM exams, you can practice in the UK as well as also you can practice in the UAE. For UAE, you can also give your DHA exams, that is their licensing exams, followed by you can work in the UAE. As you all saw, as the emergency medicine is still a relatively newer branch in India, there's plenty of scope in India. So if you pick emergency medicine as your career, you can very well excel in India as well as outside India. Thank you.